Good afternoon to everybody. And um, just so there's no mistake, I'm not the money Doug, I'm the tech Doug. <laughs> and um, yes, indeed, we do collapse the capillary electrophoresis with electrochemical detection. Now, does anybody work in that field? <laughs> oh, I see some. There was a hand back there. Would you like to come up and give this presentation, sir? <laughs> no takers. Um, okay, so. Um, uh, I know you're all probably hoping that I'm not, not going to give a technical presentation on this topic. And probably some of you are thinking, okay, this is pretty classic startup. They got a technology and they're wandering around looking for a problem. Uh, maybe you've heard that angle before. So um, actually, we're pretty lucky with Advanced Microwebs because we found a problem. And um, this problem is looking for a technology. So I'm going to start by telling you a little bit about the uh, problem. It's uh, steam turbine power plants have this problem with corrosion in their ultra pure water. Now you're probably also thinking, geez, I hope he doesn't go too deep into this one. Um, so, uh, but I can make it personal. 8% of the power bill that we all pay to our utilities goes for fixing problems that are caused by corrosion. Um, and that's due to the fact that the steam is at thousands of degrees, uh, the, the flow rates are high, um, and the equipment that's in the power plant is, even though it's big equipment, it's, it's high quality and it has very high tolerances. The uh, failures that occur just in the U.S. Uh, order on $20 billion a year. That's 8% of our power bill. Worldwide, it's a $100 billion problem. And about 22%, it's been estimated, 22% of those failures could be um, avoided if the power company could just monitor and test for the particular corrosive elements that are occurring in the power plant. Well, the problem is that there is not instrumentation for all of those elements that needs to, all those corrosive elements that need to be tested. And so we're all living with our 8% that we're paying for corrosion in power plants. And this is where Advanced Micro Labs gets to, uh, gets to step in. Uh, we have a product, uh, prototype stage uh, still, but um, uh, it's a mixture of an instrumentation, of uh, some, some very fancy fluidics delivery, uh, a microchip, which is uh, guarded by a patent that we have licensed from CSU, um, a number of consumables, and so this yields a business that is a combination of in initial instrument sales plus ongoing consumables, uh, a razor and razor blades model with uh, tremendous profit margins associated with it. Uh, our particular stage is that we've had customer trials. Uh, we've been out at power plants. We've run um, uh, for 100 hours taking data. Uh, and I could spend probably twice the time allotted explaining what the data and what the results and that sort of thing, but the impression I want to leave is that it's real. We've been out there measuring. Uh, power plant chemists are extraordinarily interested in the kinds of results that we've been finding. So now I'll just give you a, a brief overview uh, because uh, we only have a couple minutes here to introduce our company. Um, we are anchored by CSU Technology um, and um, uh, have, in fact, uh, one patent uh, from CSU one more patent issue, one more in the mill, and two more that we would love to fund. Um, our first large market is this power plant uh, water quality market. And um, uh, not only do we have the steam cycle application that I just described to you, but we also have four other applications that we know and understand within power plants. So we get one, one instrument in and immediately uh, have other opportunities to make measurements to improve the efficiency of the power plant. We've um, uh, had successful customer trials at three different power plants, um, all of whom are interested. Uh, and we've had additional power plants call us up for budgetary pricing uh, and or uh, invitations to please come try this in their power plant. I think they'd like to know how clean their water is and um, whether they have a, a pending uh, corrosion problem. Um, we are a platform technology, which means that uh, when we're done satisfying the needs of power plants, we can move into other needs, such as environmental. Uh, we can move into wastewater discharges. 
with some of the uh, ionic species that are not easily measured uh, through existing technologies. And um, that gives us great growth potential. Uh, we have an experienced team, um, a uh, good business team, a solid technical team, and, um, and ready to uh, continue engineering with the product. Um, since we've begun, we've gone through about $3 million worth of research grants, which has been necessary to get a prototype to the stage that it's, that it's at. And it will take us about $2.5 million between where we are and formally introducing a product to the market. We have a lot of engineering still to do, a lot of refinement, a lot of testing, a lot of optimization, and um, all this uh, uh, just takes additional, um, additional dollars. Um, let's see, when, uh, uh, when we meet our, when we introduce and we meet our sales ramps, the way companies of our nature go in the industry is uh, some large instrumentation company comes and knocks on your door and offers to buy you. And based on current ratios, that's about a $220 million acquisition. So we think that this roughly 80 to 1 is a pretty good, 90 to 1 is a pretty good uh, opportunity. So if anybody has, I start out by asking a question. If anybody did electrophoresis, I'm going to conclude with a question. Does anybody have two and a half million for us? <laughs> Darn, no hands this time. Okay, that's, uh, that's, that's a, a brief introduction. If you'd like more, come see me afterwards. Thanks.